Hi right, guys, Ben Friends here. Right, today I want to show you what I keep on my belt, my rucksack. It's changed slightly, not by much, but it has changed. And um, I thought I'd show an up to date version of it. And um, so, yeah, I'm hoping this video looks okay because I am using my laptop again by using the camera on my laptop. Because again, I don't know why that lap why that this laptop's not accepting SD cards at the moment. So yeah. Right. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pouches on my belt. But there is multiple pouches as well. Yeah. This here, this belt here is a combat UK tactical, you combat you combat UK tactical. I don't know, they change their names all the time, but it's combat UK. This belt is, and um, I've really been using, I've been really enjoying using this. It's still nice and pumped. It's still got like a lot of um, filling, um, filling, what do you call it, padding, in sorry. And um, yeah, as you can see here already, I put a hundred feet of normal power cord on, and fifty feet of the fire cord. Yes, I know a lot of cordage. I know I get that, and yes, I know I carry a lot of fire cord. But my argument is just in case. Yeah, we start on this side, as you can see already. It's easier. Right. On here, in this pouch. I keep my small monocular. I like having this in my bag. Why? A belt, not bag. For one, I can see ahead. Do I know what? Do I know when I'm coming towards something? If I'm coming towards something or someone's coming towards me, that's the reason why I have that. The pouch beside it is my silver compass. Love this thing. Absolutely do. And what it's tacked onto it is a glow tab from Polymath Products. So, and this is a world compass. I'll explain that later on when I explain more and more about that compass. So, yeah. The, pot, the pouch next door, next to it, I have, I don't like them, but I thought I might as well have one in this kit. And that is a fire kit in a tin, in one of these. I out toys style tins, so yeah. And on the back of this one, there's a little zip right here, and I keep in there just a basic signal wheel with a little compass on top on the other side, and that does point north, north as well. So um, that's good. As you can see, I have some tape. Duct tape and electrical tape hanging off here. So let's just take that off so we're not way. They are just clipped on with one of those clips you get off a bottle bag or off one of those Molly clips ones. In here, I have a torch. This is a red, blue, and green lens torch. I'm not going to turn it on because I don't believe in that. So that's what's in that one. In this little pouch here, same thing, thing is my water purification kit. Same thing, same thing. Boya, mill bank bag, and um, purification tablets and potassium permanganate. Or, and a lighter. Or, in this little pouch. It's the same as this one. There's only one thing I've added to this. And that's a titanium Tom shoe alcohol stove, as well as a, a titanium spoon and a metal straw. And I've got a different mug. It is a Nalgene wide mouth metal mug in this one. And at the very bottom, I'm not getting it out because you've all seen things like that before. It's a titanium Tom shoe titanium 
600 mil mug. I'll do that up in a minute as well. Attached to this bottle pouch is this little pouch. This is normally an ammo pouch, but I've turned it into something else and I really do like it. And then here I have a fair wad with a small little capsule. A fuel bottle is empty at the moment because I'm trying to still work out what I want to do. But if I want to carry that one or something else. And here is a wind wind screen and a Hot stuff in here for the alcohol stove. I'm just putting everything down here, guys. It's just a little bit quicker for you. Right in here, it's empty, absolutely empty. But I put, like, say, if I need some energy bars, I'll put them in here. So yeah, here I am. I'm going to show you separately, and that is where I put my in amp kit, basically. Same thing again, this is my where I put energy bars, but I keep in the front here a bug net, head bug net. So yeah. And all the zips are what I've called. That one, that one is um and the other two, they do have a fair toggle attached to them as well. So yeah, in this one's nothing much apart from a couple of your bottles. That's it. And same again, that's not it. In here is my old clean canteen bottle. That's it. That's all that's in there. And then this one, there's not a lot in this one neither. There's coffee, some cordage, and a green bandana. I do carry things people give me. I was given this one, so yeah. I'd like to say thank you to Viking Mitch for this idea. This here is 10 feet of power cord. What will go onto my Namphine bottle, where if I need to get water and I can't reach, I will use this. I can use this to lower that bottle down. So thank you very much to Viking Mitch for that idea. All right, I know there's laws. I know there's relegation um things we've got right to do, but I'm actually hard to believe carried this kit on to um to the campsite where me and Tato Ed goes and we walk past police officers and everything like that. They've never stopped me, they've never asked us about our looks up. So in my opinion, if you look if you're smart and you're looking smart and you're not playing around with things, they're not gonna stop you. And that is my more Eldris. I do carry it on my belt because I like it on my belt. I don't like it in my pocket. I don't like it in the workshop. So that's where I've put it. So yeah, and as I said, I know about the law in this UK. In the UK. Now here is my Helicon Tech Bush Bushman's Bushcraft gloves. They're a good bit of kit. I recommend them as well. I might as well get through this bit. There's some a some signal tape there in here as you can see there's a punisher patch with the union jack union flag on it it's not called a union jack it's called a union flag i'll explain that later in the front here as you can see right there that is a thumb compass a directional thumb compass you take your pairing with the large compass and then you can take your thumb compass out and use it to get to places. So that's enough on that one. I should have said that last time. I should have said that when I'm doing the other compass. I have my DC3 in here. I have my one of my what in the rain notebooks. A pen. I don't know why people call these tactical, but a pen. There's a part of a pencil in there. There's no point trying to get it out. In this little slot here, 
there's not much in, but there's one thing in there, and I don't think I should keep it in there though. That's Kevlar line. So yeah, right. I've shown this in the video before. So there's that one now. This is my match, my wood, my stormproof matches case. And I've had this for coming on six years and it's still going strong. There's the matches. So yeah. I have my Titan light from Echo Tac. And I've filled this up since and it still works. And I really do like it. Okay, um, I have an easy sharpener. I don't know if this is going to stay in the belt, but I have it at the moment. I have some 18650 batteries to go for with my torch, what's on my belt. I have to have these because I'm deaf as a door mouse. Do you any batteries? And another small chocolate sharpener. And that is it. That's all. What's on this belt kit? I do apologise that this belt, this video took longer than what I was expecting, but I wanted to show you, and um, yeah, I'm hoping you really enjoy it because at the end of the day, I enjoy putting these kits, this kit, belt kit together. It's took me quite a long time to get it the way I like it. So yeah, right, I'm leaving it here, guys, because it's coming up to just over set, uh, over 12 minutes. Right, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and please join us here at Flimmer Fans. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.